Hey George, there's that, that little video. It's my sump. There's the ball valves. I'll try to dig down through the substrate here for you. But as you see, goes in through the wall into the cage. Next cage, I think, uh, next enclosures, I'm actually going to try to run the PVC through the black just in case I get an animal that likes to tear shit up, you know, because, for example, like in this cage, as you can see, um, you know, Salvatore, I don't know if you can see that burrow or not, he still digs, he's still got burrows all over down in here, um, but I'm not going to stick my head down there right now, he's acting a little goofy, but they do like to dig and tear shit up, um, they've been pretty nice to my plants, but if I get a one breaking PVC away from the wall or something, then um, I'll have some problems with my drain. But we'll uh, hey, Sean. Sean. You move a little bit for me, huh? Oh, don't be all mad. Yep. Okay, so somewhere's here. Okay, this is where it runs through the wall. Like I said, I want to uh, put it in the block next time. She doesn't dig too bad. Like, she digs a little bit, but <coughs> doesn't really destroy stuff. She just kind of tends to dig. I got a little shallow here where I enter so I don't step on her burrows because she was burrowing a lot when I got her, and then I was afraid I was going to step on her. But um, here's the disgusting tub right now I need to drain. But the, uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to get any of this. But as you can see, there's the, the pipe runs by the wall. And then it runs all the way up into half the drain. Um, I'll go pop the drain once and just kind of show you what happens. And I got too small of a sump right now, so it uh, will fill up the sump. I got to let her flow for a little bit and then uh, cut her back. But all I got to do is basically scrub out the uh, scrub out the tub. I'll cut her down up there. <laughs> Or get caught up, then I can get back in, then I can open the drain and uh, let it drain, lay solid out, scrub it, rinse it out. Um, so I need a bigger sump pump, is what I need. So we'll open that up. I don't know if you can tell, but it's draining quite fast. This is 150 gallon. Usually fill them up to the top if I got room or if I recently fed and I know they're gonna go, if they're gonna defecate, then I might only fill a half just to kind of cheat a little bit. As you see, this is already filling up here. So I'm gonna cut her back. But it really empties that tank nice. It's pretty quick. But that's it. That's uh I guess I should have took the tubs and put them up a little bit, but I was afraid she would get underneath. Um, drain probably could have been on the bottom because I do get about a inch of water that I have to scrub and rinse out that settles in the bottom of the tub because the drain that I have, hopefully if it drains out here I can show you. Um, I don't know if you can see where the drain's at in there, down towards the bottom. But there is about an inch of water that I don't like that. So my next ones will be, drains will be cut in the bottom. And um, there you go, that's that's how I got that going. So I hope that explains something. And uh, makes life a lot easier with the soil. Don't have to do nothing but 
Scrub that tank out every couple days. Piece of cake. Happy girl. Alright, have a good day.